And now we're going to go ahead and make our luggage rack for our model here. And I'm just showing you the portion here of that's the luggage rack on top of the car. And this is an image that I've downloaded off of Google. Saved and just imported it into Maya. And we're basically just going to use a, a you know, poly cylinder to go ahead and make our, our luggage rack. And I'm drawing out the curve there because I'm going to extrude the the poly cylinder along that curve to go ahead and make a luggage rack and then we'll just duplicate it a couple times to ha basically have the model. I'm just going to scale these vertex or translate those vert vertices down a little bit. As you can see, I just simply extrude along that curve there. I'm going to up the divisions just a little bit here. Go ahead and mirror the geometry. I'm going go, to just go ahead and move these vertices a little bit longer so that I can have just a little bit longer luggage rack. as you can see we have both legs there and now we're going to go ahead and make the top of the model I'm just using a a poly torus then I'm just going to edit the shape of and we'll simply just I'll simply just do this on one side here And one or two extra edge loops here so that it's going to retain more of a shape for me. And that's looking okay so far. Go ahead and make sure I can get that curve out of there. Just gonna make sure you delete uh, delete the history on it and freeze the transformation so that it is allowing you to delete the curve. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make the the middle buttresses of our luggage rack here simply using a poly cylinder. And just, you know, have to scale it 
lengthwise so it's going to fit properly. I'm just going to try to get the scale properly so that it doesn't uh, come out on either side and so it's you know fitting right and go ahead and add a couple extra edge loops here And instead of having two in there, I'm going to think about having four and maybe five. So it has, you know, it seems like it has a little bit more support in the luggage rack. I think the three actually works better. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the base here for our um, luggage rack so that we can get that part to actually fit into the roof of our vehicle. Just need to go ahead and add a couple extra edge loops for it to retain its shape a little better. Just basically duplicate it over to the other side. Add some more edge loops here. And duplicate that over. I'm going to edit, edit here so we have a little bit uh, better curve. And a lot of this is just, you know, if if there's something you don't like, go ahead and change it now because it's going to be a pain in the butt to go ahead and change it later.
and I'm just adding the vertex here so that it matches a little better so that the luggage is uh, don't fall out I'm just going to do a little bit of vertex editing here. And you can see where, you know, we basically have a, a decent looking luggage rack. <laughs> 